Hey guys, my name is Emmanuel Sims, and you're tuned into Mindful Minutes with Mindful Manny, a podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about internet marketing and everything that you need to know, and we're going to get you started. So what is internet marketing? The term internet marketing has become associated with a broad range of topics in recent years. For many, it literally means exactly what it says, marketing on the internet. In which case, it is seen synonymous with digital marketing and online marketing. For others, however, it it has come to be associated more specifically with the words of affiliate marketing and information products. And the, I hate saying this, make money online niche. For our purpose, we'll lean more towards the former and settle with uh, the following definition. Okay, so internet marketing is the use of internet properties and traffic to generate leads, sales, or brand awareness. This is typically done via search engine, visibility, social media marketing, email marketing, and various forms of paid advertisement. One of the best ways to begin understanding internet marketing is to break down the various goals a business can seek to accomplish with it. The ultimate end goal of marketing, of course, revenue. With that in mind, we can certainly classify sales as the primary goal of internet marketing and many businesses do focus on sending traffic directly to pay offers, whether digital product sales, sales page or physical product sales in e-commerce stores. However, for many businesses, sales remain a distant long-term goal. A more common intermediate or short-term goal for these businesses is lead generation. By using the internet to affordably collect leads rather than make individual sales, a business can then use leads to continue marketing for free or close to free to potential customers from the point forward with the expectation that multiple future sales will increase with the average lifetime value of each lead and result in the greater long-term RIO for each dollar spent on marketing. You see, lead generations for an online business might consist simply of building an email list, perhaps with a customer's name associated with it as well. Lead generation for an e-commerce business or a local offline business might also include physical mailing address and phone number so that the follow-up in other ways such as telemarketing or mailing out catalogs and special offers. Now, you may have seen that through East Bay or Sam's or, or all these other companies that, that send their stuff out that you can buy in bulk. Other businesses might pursue even more robust leads data, such as business information, like industry categories or the number of employees in the case of B2B, which is business to business marketing or income ranges for family sizes in cases of higher ticket. And you got to pay attention to that because you never know you, you could be selling to a whole family. Don't just assume. But we'll get back into that. But before we get into that, we got to get into the B2C, right? And that's business to consumer model like life insurance, real estate. Since lead generation is often seen as the most common and multifaceted intermediate goals of Internet marketing, I've devoted the whole part three of this section to various methods and forms of lead generation. Finally, another intermediate goal of internet marketing is growing brand awareness and familiarity. For many businesses, this might consist of spending large amounts of a banner advertisement or video ads, primarily in the purpose of getting their brand name, logo, or unique selling proposition in front of people in this usp you got to get it in front of as many eyes and as many times as possible i mean it's eyes times possible possible times eyes do it as many times as you can get as many people to see it as much as you can you see the idea here is to increase the top mind awareness so that the potential customer will think of the brand in the future situations when they need a specific need in the f- to be fulfilled. Think about it. You guys, we got to we gotta put it in their face so much that they start coming up with reasons why they need it. For example, when fast food chain airs an ad on television, 
it's not because they expect people to immediately hop in the car and go buy the burger because of it no 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 it's because they know and they want you to think that their restaurant next they want you to think of their restaurant next time you go clock in for your lunch break and you decide what to eat we need to start setting up that what to eat moment start throwing who's good with assists in basketball somebody give me some basketball stats we need to start throwing those assists because the internet equivalent of this might be an online tax service heavily investing in banner ads or video ads in December and January. Not because they think people will suddenly be doing their taxes early, but because April will, listen, April, think about April when 90% of the Americans do their taxes at the last minute. Their brand will be the first one they remember. Think about that. Other forms of brand awareness might simply consist of frequent social media posting. Companies that constantly see in their brand image in their followers' news feeds and Twitter feeds accomplishes the same top of the mind awareness as well as other emotional associates with their brand, such as loyalty, pride, goods goodwill and humor but we're gonna have to talk about that in another video again it's your boy emmanuel sims also known as mindful manny and we're gonna be doing this four-part series on internet marketing so if you guys are really enjoying it make sure you hit the subscribe button ring that bell and make sure you subscribe to the podcast because we're gonna be doing some giveaways all right guys talk to you later